I'm here. Uh, I'm the director for California Mass Resistance. I actually called this office a week before the 29th of June, and there was a meeting I had scheduled, and I was accompanying with five constituents. Okay, so right away, I'd like an answer. We were there. There were a lot of Long Beach constituents. Who was here on the 29th of June? Okay, we had a whole crowd here, and they were blown off. There was a sign that said, out in the field. Can I check on Fred contact you to reschedule the meeting for the following week? Okay, you were trying to, oh, that's what, it, I didn't get a message from you. There was nothing on the phone that said a message, so sorry, I'm not buying that. But at any rate, we're here now, so um, I'm going to just start this off. Okay, 1146, I cannot believe that this senator would even propose such a perverse, destructive bill. Okay, this is legislation that's effectively going to shut down every Christian college in the state of California. This legislation would force Christian colleges to give up their mission, their goal, their whole reason for existing. They would have to accommodate secular, destructive, homosexual agendas. This is nonsense. Okay, this bill is not about protecting quote unquote minority rights. This is about opening up endless litigation that would force these colleges to close. I'm going to stop there. I'd like this, the constituents of Mr. Lara to speak out against 1146. Go ahead, ma'am, you're first. Well, I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. Amen. And so the Thank you. That we speak about that being okay, God's me. law, we're going to be considered haters. We have a lot of people that go to Christian universities because they want to be immersed in God's word. And the minute someone says it's against the law, they can come out and say, you're a hater, we're going to sue. And you, you, that's my freedom of speech. That's what I believe. And that is what they want to train, teach in this college. And we want to be able to immerse our people in this and a lot of other things. And, and they're having children and they're in um, school housing. They you know not that they hate gays, but they don't want to expose their children to that. That's what they do. That's, that's very important. And so we don't want them to have to be silent. I just want to say that I am a believer of God. I am a teacher of His Word. Okay. And this country right Amen. here was dedicated Robin, to God. Robin, I have posters in the bag with SB 1146. That's why Could it says on the money in God we trust. So way down in the generations that we won't forget. Long time ago. And God we trust. That's not just there for decoration. It's not just wow, there I like because that. it sounds good. It's there because great men. That founded this country, dedicated and prayed to God. And Moses, God gave Moses the laws and the statutes and the judgment for this country. So everything would be fair for every man and that we're supposed to go by. I do not want our children to be exposed you want to pass them around. And There's other posters. Laws that's not under God. And if we take God out of the country and forget about what our forefathers dedicated, then we're going to be just like the other countries, communism or whatever, because that's not right. And if you kept the oath, you're supposed to keep the oath, or if you're not for God, then get out of office. It's not of God. God gave us a choice to choose who we're going to serve, either him or Satan. And that part is of Satan. And so, like I said, and like my sister said here, that... Uh, this country was, was, was built on God. <laughs> I don't like the fact that they have to publish and acknowledge every student that comes in that they're going to be teaching about the Lord. Why? If it says a Christian university, why can't people who don't agree with that understand that they need to go somewhere else? Mm -hmm. and they're going to sue. Okay, and you know, uh, I keep hearing this garbage about discrimination. Enough. This is outrageous. Gender identity is not something you choose. You are born male or you're born female. Right. It's XX or it's XY. That's biology. Yes. It ain't Bible thumping. It's not bigotry. It is outrageous and offensive that Laura wants to distort Title IX to now include this nonsense. That is wrong. That is outrageous. It is unfounded. I have looked at the bill, repeatedly amended, and the fact is the more that he amends it, the more distorted and destructive it becomes. Now it's like, okay, if you're going to be a pastor or a preacher, then, they, then you can have the exemption. But if you want to study any other subject, then they have to be forced to accommodate this homosexual agenda. It's outrageous, it's perverse, and it's wrong. Transgenderism, it's a disorder. It is not a civil right. I don't have a problem leaving this. 
I want him to have this on his wall because, and here's something else that needs to be on record here. We are very aware Mr. Lara has a challenger named Mimi Robeson. She agrees with us 100% against 1139, 1146. She's running against her Mimi Robeson. I know you know about her. Oh, no, she's not a writer. She could be on that ballot. Oh, yeah. Honor, her name is Honor Mimi Robson. It's, it's, she got all those names. And we know she supports us. And you know what? We're going to support her. Yes. We're going to throw him out. If he doesn't stop with these destructive behaviors, these destructive bills, he's not stopping the debt. He's not stopping the spending. He's making it less safe for Americans. And he doesn't want to talk to us. And he doesn't even talk to us. He blows us off. Something else. Special rights is not what this country is about. We have natural rights from God. Right. You don't create them from a university. So we have Sonia that's a lot of what you said, maybe not every single thing, but I mean, we'll make sure we relay the message. And we appreciate you taking the time um, in your uh, afternoon to, to share your thoughts.